everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another very special Contrast Plus painting tutorial. Yes, today we are painting the brand new Demon Prince. Here he is. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful new model from Games Workshop that they sent to me earlier as part of the Slaves to Darkness army set and I've been really looking forward to painting this one and well thank you very much now with all that out of the way we're going to jump in and we are going to start painting him he has been primed in gray sear now the order of operations for this is that we're going to paint the wings then we're going to paint him because we don't want to do the wings and him at the same time it becomes too much to manage at once so we're just going to do the wings get them fully done and then we're going to do the rest of him that being said, the wings do include these, these kind of muscles of the wings themselves, and it will come down to around about here on his back, just down there where you can see where my brush tip is. So, with all that out of the way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some dark oath flesh. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load up our brush here. Now if you want to, you can always thin this down with a bit of contrast medium just to help you with the flow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this dark oath flesh all over the wing membranes, just like this. We use those big, broad brush strokes. I'm just gonna move methodically across the model, taking our time, making sure we're finishing off each wing membrane as we go along. And just move around that paint Keeping an eye out for any dark splodges or weird hard transitions that we don't want. Just like this. I'm going to do this on both the inside and the outside of the wing. So with that dark oath flesh applied over the top of the wings all the way around it, can see what we're now going to do is we're going to use some berserker blood shade we're going to use this to shade the wing membranes over the top of the dark oath flesh we're also going to apply this over the top of the spine and that's going to be important for our blends which will be coming up very shortly so we're going to grab that berserker blood shade on our brush and we're just going to pick a place to start now it's easier to start in here because if you start out here, you'll then get a drying line all the way along if you don't then immediately do the backside. So we're going to start right in. In fact, we'll start in here. And we're just going to take that berserker blood shade and start applying this over the top of the dark earth flesh. Just like that. And as a happy coincidence, be getting this over the top of the spines as well.
with that Berserker Bloodshade applied to all of those sections on the wings and the wing membranes, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. And we're going to apply this just whilst we're waiting for the rest of that Berserker Bloodshade to dry. So we're going to apply this over the top of the talons on the wings. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red and we're going to be using this to do our first of our blends. So what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to be painting the entirety, if I show you on the back here, we're going to be painting the entirety of this muscle group all the way up to around about here where it's going to blend out into our kind of slightly pinker spines. <laughs> so we're going to take that Blood Angels Red on our brush I'm going to start painting this in. So I'm just going to start down here. Like so. that and now we've got this spine area so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to around about there as I mentioned so you've got this little crack here on the wing that you can see just there and there's that there's that crack I'm just going to bring it past just a little bit, like that, then we're going to wash the brush, and then with a clean brush, we're just going to smooth out that transition by brushing away at it into the area that we want to be. brighter like so we're going to continue this on the other side but what we're also going to do on the other on the spines going down the wings is we're going to do the same thing so we're just going to make sure that we've got all of this area nice and red and then on this spine just here we're going to take that red down to Round about there, we're going to wash the brush. And then we're going to smooth it out. So get this nice subtle blend going on. And that sort of thing. Same again on the next one. Coming down to around about there. Wash the brush. And then 
just pull it down. And then back up like that. And we're gonna do this across all of the spines, both outside and inside. And we're gonna do that red over the entirety of the arm. So with that Blood Angels red applied to both of the wings, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part shayish purple mix. And we're gonna do almost the same thing, but we're gonna be doing it on the wing membranes themselves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that shayish purple mix on our brush and we're just gonna pick a place to start. I'm just gonna start just here, right, right in the middle. And we're gonna start applying this shayish purple over the top of the wing membrane, going down to around about two thirds, like that. Then we're gonna wash the brush. And then we're just gonna smooth out that transition so it blends from the darko flesh, shaded with the Berserker blood shade, into our shade purple, like that. Gives it that kind of really bruised flesh look. So do the same thing again. And around about there. Like that. We're going to wash the brush. And then just where the two colours meet, we're going to run our brush over the top of it like that. Just smoothing out that transition. Like so. So with that done, our wings are, well, they're very nearly done. However, there is another layer that we're gonna be doing, but for that, it requires us to do the rest of the Demon Prince's skin, because we're gonna do a blend up into this kind of blood red. We're gonna go from a really dark red up to that kind of brighter red up here. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do now is gonna move on to the Demon Prince's body. So the color we're gonna be using first is once again, Dark Oath Flesh. We're just going to be getting this over the top of all of his remaining skin. So you just want to come in here like this and get this down like that. And over the top here. Like so. And then we can move on to doing the rest of him. So with all of that dark coat flesh applied, as you can see all the way around, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Berserker blood shade and we're gonna use this to shade all of the Demon Prince's flesh. However, there is one thing to point out here is that what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that belly as a kind of dark oath flesh. So we're gonna start just there so I can demonstrate this for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Berserker blood shade and we're gonna paint it all over this kind of section, like this, coming up to round about there, in line with the armor panel, like that. Then we're gonna wash the brush, and then we're just gonna smooth out that transition 
just a little bit. So it starts to fade from the darko flesh into the berserker blood shade. But otherwise, I'm gonna be shading the rest of his skin with berserker blood shade, just as we did on the wings. So with all that Berserker blood shade applied over the flesh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red, and much like before, this is where we're going to do even more blending. However, there is only one blend that we're really going to be doing here, and that is on the tummy again. So we're going to take that Blood Angels Red, and we are going to apply this over the top of the armor, of the armor? It's muscles, it's muscles. We're going to once again take it up to around about where in line with the armor panel. We're going to wash the brush and then we're just going to smooth out the transition by kind of dabbing away at it. So it goes from the red into the into the into the flesh color. But otherwise, we are then just going to apply this over the top of the rest of his flesh. So with all of that Blood Angels Red applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Saigor Brown and Shaiish Purple. And we're going to apply this over the top of basically all of our red, excluding the feet. We're going to leave them alone because we want them to be as red as they are. And we're going to be bringing this up onto the wings as well, but not by much. So we're also going to be doing a little bit of a blend just under here on the armpit. So we're going to start with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just paint in this section of the body. There like that. We're going to wash the brush. And then we're going to smooth out that transition. Just as we've done so many times already. Like that. So now we get that really lovely kind of move from the red, the, the flesh, into the red, into our dark, dark brown, brownish purple. Like that sort of thing. Similarly, on the wings, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to kind of come up to this elbow joint here and then we're going to blend it out. So we'll just paint in that whole section. Up to that first bit of kind of hard scaly skin. Like that. And then we're going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to smooth it out like that. And you want to do that on both sides of the wing, so outside and inside. And we're then going to also cover this color all over the rest of the model's flesh, excluding those legs. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Black Legion and we're gonna apply this to all of his talons, his claws, and his hooves.
as well as his teeth as well. And so with that black legion applied to all of those details, as you can see, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Shaiish purple. We're going to use this on his tongue. So with that done, all of our Demon Prince's flesh and, well, kind of organic bits are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on now to painting all of the armor in, and then we're going to do all the highlights towards the end. So the color we're going to be using next is Iron Warriors. We're going to be using this to paint in all of our metallic details. Well, all of our silver details. And this is going to include the majority of his armor panels, in fact, all of his arm, armor panels. It's gonna include the sword blade. It's gonna include all the various little chains and things hanging off him. It is rather a lot of silver. So with that iron warriors applied all over these areas, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down retributor armor and we're gonna apply this over all of our remaining metallic areas. So this is mostly trim and in a rich tradition of chaos there is a lot of trim so just take your time make sure you get it all and then once that's done We shall return. So with all of that retributor armor applied all over, he's starting to come together. He looks a bit flat, but don't worry. I'm going to be doing a lot of shading. So what we're going to do before we do that shading is all of the rest of the base coats. And the first one that we're going to do is Black Legion. I'm going to be applying this over the top of the tabard. So with that Black Legion applied, as you can see, to the tabard, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this to all of the skulls. With that done, 
We're then going to take some Saigor Brown. We're going to apply this over all of our leather details. So we've got the, the wrap on the sword. We've got a couple of little straps holding on some armor panels here and there. And we've got the various little strings and things. Holding on all the skulls. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our demon prints, believe it or not. So what we're going to do is we're now going to add some shades. Now, the first one we're going to add is Targor Raid Shade. We're going to be applying this over the top of all of the silver and all of the gold. And with that Targor Raid shade applied, what we're now going to do is take some Agrax Earth shade. We're going to apply this over the top of the silver armor. We've already shaded with the Targor Raid shade. So just wanted to get it nice and dark and dirty. So with that Agrax Earth Shade applied to all of that silver armor, our Demon Prince is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. It's already looking pretty fantastic. However, we're not gonna leave it there. No, we are gonna take it to the next level. And we're gonna do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're gonna add is Slanesh Gray. And we're gonna be using this as a dry brush. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be very gently dry brushing this over the wing me membranes. Just very steadily building this up. Gently catching all of the folds, as you can see there already. Just taking it very steady. very little pressure So with that Slanesh Grey applied as a dry brush to the inside and outside of the wings, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Pallid Witch Flesh and we're going to go over the top similarly to how we just did with the Slanesh Grey. And we're going to be very, very gentle here. We're going to kind of, kind of keep it towards the middle of each of the wings. Like that sort of thing. And 
And so with that done, the wing membranes are now complete. However, what we're going to do is we're going to still stick with the pallid witch flesh just for the moment, because what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight the kind of pale parts of the spines. So for example, just down there by that talon, we've got this little section just here, like that. And we've got this section of the talon here as well and so on and so forth. Just want to continue this around all of the spines. So with that done, the wing membranes and the wing spines are pretty much there. What we haven't done yet is the red parts of it, but we're just gonna move on for the moment because these are gonna be slightly brighter highlights than what we're gonna be doing down here. We don't want it to be quite as violently bright here on the face as we will have it up here on the wing, for example, and on the bottom of the feet. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna start by highlighting down here with the red, then we'll use the next red up on this and this, and then we'll do the final spot highlight. So the red that we're gonna be using on the face, for example, is one of the darkest points and the tail as well, is going to be word bearers red. What we're just gonna do here is we're just gonna start picking out all of our raised details like this. So with that word bearer as red applied, we're then gonna take some Evil Sun Scarlet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna now highlight all of our red details, but what we're gonna do up here on the head, for example, is we're just gonna pick out the sharpest points. that sort of thing. Whereas on the rest of our red details, for example, this hand just here, we're going to highlight them in full. Picking out all of the edges. Just like that. So with that Evil Sun Scarlet applied to all of the red details, what we're going to do now is we're going to finish all of it off by taking some thinned down Cadian Flesh Tone. And we're just going to add this as the absolute kind of spot highlight across all of the red. So we just need to pick out the sharpest points. So with that done, all of the red is now finished, as is all of the flesh. So what we're gonna do now is move on, and we're gonna move on to all of our black details. Now the color we're gonna be using first for this is Eshin Gray. And we're just gonna take this on our brush, and we're just gonna start picking out all of the edges on all of our black details, including the tabard, 
talons, the claws, all of it. So with that ashen grey applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone and we're going to apply this to the sharpest point on all of our black details. And with that Dawnstone applied, all of our black details are now finished. So what we're going to do is move on to the silver. And we're going to start off by using some thinned down Iron Warriors. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use this to kind of just re-layer the sharp parts of the sword. So just around here, we're just going to apply this Iron Warriors like this, just over the top. avoiding any of the recesses and places where the Targal Raid Shade has settled. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel and we're going to use this to highlight all of the silver, starting with the sword. We're just going to work our way down and around the model. So with that iron hand steel all applied to all of that silver, as you can see, he's starting to look really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the gold next. And the color we're gonna be using is Liberator Gold. I'm just gonna start around here on the gorget. out all the edges. So with all of that Liberator Gold applied, as you can see, he's looking very, very cool now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Stormhost Silver just to finish off all of the metallics for now. I'm gonna apply this to the sharpest, sharpest points around the model. This is our little spot highlight. So with those metallics complete, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Screaming Skull and we're gonna use this to highlight all of our skulls.
So with all of our skulls highlighted, I just realized that this guy here, this little head right there in the middle is actually still got some skin on it. However, it's not very alive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Griff Charger Grey, we're gonna apply that over the top of our highlighted skin. And originally painted with Skeleton Horde. See? Griff Charger Grey. It's a magic paint. So with that done, our Demon Prince is very, very nearly finished. However, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of extra kind of awesome details. And one of them is to add some glowing runes on the blade. Now, the colour we're going to be using is Luganath Orange. And what we've done is we've thinned it down with like sort of three or four parts of water. We'll make it really, really runny. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this Luganath Orange into each one of those runes on the blade. So we're just going to very carefully start applying this very, very, very thin Luganath Orange into the recesses. of the blade like that and this is why we've got it so thin is that when we just kind of drop it into those recesses it flows around quite nicely of its own accord So with that Luganath orange applied to the runes on the blade, we've also done it over the eyes on the chest plate and this eye here on the waist plate. And what, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Griff Hound orange and we're gonna apply this over the top of these areas, like that. And like that. Like so. Similarly, on the runes on the blade, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this Griff Hound Orange over the top. All the way along. Just like that. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Uriel Yellow and we're going to apply this over the top of the little eyeballs on the chest and on the tummy.
like that sort of thing. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use this here yellow, yellow to color in the Demon Prince's eyes. And so with that Uriel Yellow applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Black Legion and on his eyes, we're just going to add a dot right in the middle. like that. And with those eyes complete, we then just got some slanish gray to apply to the tongue. So with that now done, our Demon Prince is finished and he looks absolutely fantastic, even if I do say so myself. I'm extremely happy with this boy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint this rock and the color I'm gonna use first for this is Targor Raid Shade. And I'm just gonna be getting this over the top of the entirety of the rock, including those skulls that are embedded within it and around on the base. And there's a very good reason for that, just a moment. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Blood Angels Red. I'm gonna apply this over the top of all of the little runnels, which on the box art is lava. But for my guy, it's going to be blood. And with that Blood Angels Red applied, we're then gonna take some Skeleton Horde. I'm gonna apply this over the top of the skulls. And with that Targal Raid shade on there already, they're gonna be a lot kind of darker. Which is exactly what we want. And with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some blood for the blood god. And we're gonna apply this over the top of our blood angels red areas. Just like this. So with that Blood Angels Red applied, we then take some Agrax Earth Shade and apply this over the top of the rock.
And so with that, all that remains is to color in the rest of the base. Now you can do this any way that you want, but I'm gonna be taking some Sterling Battle Fire and I'm gonna be putting this all over all of our open negative space. But there is no plastic detail. And so with his base complete, I've added a little dry brush of Tyrant Skull over the top of that Sterling Battlemire and added a couple of tufts from Gamer's Grass and we now have a finished Demon Prince and it looks fantastic. I've wanted a Demon Prince for a long time but I didn't like the old model and then Games Workshop delivers this absolute masterpiece of a kit. Very versatile, very cool, a lot of fun to put together and pretty simple to paint. So yeah can't wait to have him lead my demon legions or indeed the grand army of chaos in the very very near future if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster alternatively you could become a youtube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here just like these amazing wonderful people have done and if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in the next one Happy Wargaming.